Multicultural Spotlight, presented by Chevrolet. Find new roads. Welcome back. We're talking about Butter, a fine arts fair that showcases black artists back and bigger than ever before. That's right. The four-day event will have the work of roughly 50 black visual artists, primarily from Indianapolis, in one space, the Stutz Building. With more on this story is News Aid's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey. Gang Gang is the organization behind Butter, and they say from the start, its mission was to showcase black artists and creatives. And they say Butter has far surpassed that dream, morphing into something much more valuable. And although we're a few days away from the official kickoff, they're letting me inside to give you a sneak peek. Butter 2 is just about ready to open, but for now, many of the roughly 100 pieces of art are staying under wraps. It's just like incredible, the growth and how many artists there are. I'm like totally amazed. The longtime artist Marvin D. Rouse is checking the artwork showcase next to his own. He's a sculptor and painter, both into realism and abstract. It's imperative that it's shown more. I think the exposure for black art and culture is, is the most important because it's kind of had a dim light on it throughout the history of art. Founder and executive director Molly Jeffers says the success of the first proved Indianapolis is ready for it and has the talent for it. We unveiled Butter, Butter as this effort to test new models of equity in the art industry and to like bring something new to Indianapolis. And so Indianapolis has caught on. This is equity in action, and I think that's why people are so attracted to it. She calls it a multidimensional, multi-sense sensory cultural experience, three times larger than the first, spaced out into three halls. Just is a little atypical for the artists that we're trying to support and the opportunities that have been extended to them previously. So we we start making decisions about who we want to invite to Butter like 10 months out. The inaugural Butter Fine Arts Fair was the launch of a plan to build equity in the arts. We're very excited about where Butter um, is going, where it has um, gone already, and what it looks like for the future. And it's building on that plan, continuing to elevate narratives while uplifting indie's bustling black visual artists. I think Butter's helping bring that to the forefront. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.